Hey, good morning. This is Patricia Daker with Dragonfly Lights. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, why we are resistant to doing what we need to do, right? So um, I've had a couple things, a few stories I'll tell you about this week, which has brought this to my mind. But um, my dear son, I bless, I have two beautiful children. Um, one gets her stuff done early and on time. And my son, unfortunately, really struggles with um, organization and executive function, kind of getting things um, thought out ahead of time. And so this week we've had a couple challenges where things got put off till the last minute and then we're struggling to get things done. And so as I've been talking with him about, you know, why are we putting this stuff off? Why, why are we not doing it? I think there's a bigger lesson for us all and I thought I would share it today. So um, one of the things I shared with him is that, you know, we um, put things off because we perceive it as painful. So there's something in our heads about effort that is painful and effort really doesn't hurt, you know, but there's like this momentum we have to overcome to get started. And I posted last week about, you know, it feels so good when you're done. Why is it so hard to get started? So one of the things I've really come to realize is that we're thinking that happiness and these things happen in the future. Well, someday I'll get there. Someday I'll do it. Someday I'll get organized. And the truth is there is no someday and you won't feel any different when you get there. That day will be just like this day and you'll feel the same. So really the only thing you can do is change today and a couple of ways to do that. One, one of the things I had my son do is not make a promise to me, but I asked him to write a contract with his future self, right? So yourself in three months, six months, what are you going to commit to today to help your future self? Right? And that may mean a little bit of pain. So you have a choice of, you know, hanging out, doing nothing, reading a book, or a choice of working out, eating better, um, doing that, that little bit of work that you need to do, or in my son's case, practice. Um, so instead of thinking that you don't want to do it, you commit today to doing something different, right? So that you help your future self. And the other piece of advice, the thing that I think is really key, and this is from, you know, note to myself as well, is that I think we all have this belief that when we get there, it will be different, right? When I lose the weight, when I'm stronger, when I'm healthier, when my blood sugar's under better control, then it'll be okay, right? Well, that never happens because all that thinking puts your happiness in the future, right? So it's only then will we be happy. And really what we can do, the only thing we can do is do something today, right? So instead of thinking when, I, when I'm different, I'll feel better, we have to start feeling it now and then things will be different. So what I mean by that is, let's say you want to be healthier, whatever that means for you. So whether you're not exercising, making poor food choices, you know, slacking off here, there, however, um, instead of thinking, well, when I get there, I'll be different, be that person today. So today, be healthy right? Think and live like a healthy person. Think and live like you want to be in the future even if you're not there. Because what you believe is what you will do, right? So today we have to start believing that we've met our goals, that we're healthy, that, um, you know, I'm exercising. So that's been a goal for me. So over the winter I've really slacked off. So my favorite exercises are walking and swimming and because the pool's been cold I haven't been doing it as much and that's been my excuse. Um, so I'm kind of back at it again. I got in the pool yesterday and it's so enjoyable and I so loved it. But instead of thinking, oh, in the future I'll be that, I had to decide today I'm that. And the more you think like you want to be and the more you believe you're already there, then the behaviors and the life unfolds in that manner versus the other way around of waiting till it happens and then you're going to feel better, right? So that's my, my tip for today. So write a note to your future self about what you promise them not anybody else in the world but your future self and then be it today don't wait right we don't even know if there's a tomorrow and you really can't um you can plan but you can't be for sure that tomorrow you'll do anything the only assurity you have is right now so go be what you want to be feel the way you want to feel today okay that's my message i hope you all have a great day it's beautiful here in texas um doing the live today because uh we won't be able to do it in the middle of the summer. So take care, have a great day, and uh, go do yourself a favor. Bye.